And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures got back up into the mid 70s today. Our normal high for this time of year is the lower 70s. So since Thursday through Sunday, we were below average. Now we're above average and we're going to continue that trend. 72 average high for this time of year. How about that? 99 back in 1934 was the record high temperature. Well, we could be approaching near that 90 degree mark, especially as we get towards the weekend. Temperatures getting up to over 10 to 15 degrees above the normal for this time of year. Upper 80s, lower 90s, the first heat wave of the season is approaching and knocking on our doorsteps. This morning into the afternoon, a very lovely start to the last day of May. But as we continue on into the time lapse, you're seeing some of these cumulonimbus clouds, thunderstorm clouds that are getting closer and closer into our area. And we're going to be saying goodbye to that sunshine and hello to some heavy downpours within about the next hour or two, at least here in uh, the NBC 26 station. You see the line of showers and thunderstorms moving down to the southeast at about 25 miles per hour. Closer look showing a lot of lightning strikes with it. Uh, not a lot of hail with it, but there is a bit of some breezy winds associated with this line and the actual gust front with this thunderstorm. There's that thin line right here. That's the representing that gust front. So the front, the cold air, kind of the breezy winds is just a little bit ahead of the line of the thunderstorms. And then this line right here is representing a lake breeze and it's kind of interacting with each other. Sometimes you could see uh, some uh, developing thunderstorm when these clusters combine right in between each other, but we're not anticipating anything too significant. Also a perfect indication and really able to see that gust front moving through. Looking at the velocity, you can see that line just moving down to the south. It's not thing severe, but certainly could be seeing gusts anywhere from about 30 to 45 miles per hour with this line of thunderstorms as it approaches into our area. And we really haven't had much severe weather so far this season. It's been pretty lackluster at best. A few additional thunderstorms extending all the way off towards the western part of the state. But as we head into evening hours, right around, I'd say, sunset, the coverage is going to start to decrease and we'll see uh, pretty much an ending to the severe weather threat. Not much has happened so far, but we still are under a marginal risk for severe weather associated with this cold front of a weak area of low pressure that's passing through our area. So as we head into the evening hours, hail, gusty winds, low threat for that, but certainly not out of the question. Skycast is showing as we go towards about eight, nine o'clock, pretty much Fox Valley seeing the showers and thunderstorms as you get to about 1 a.m. It's all out of here. We start to dry out pretty much clear skies, but there could be some patchy dense fog as you wake up by the morning hours tomorrow. Then that clears out, but by the afternoon, an isolated rain shower certainly not out of the question. 75 in Green Bay currently with a south wind at 13 miles per hour in Appleton. It is 73 with a southwest wind at 12 miles per hour. It's a little bit cooler behind those showers and thunderstorms down into the lower 50s up into the far north woods, but still holding on into those 70s. So you'll be feeling some cooler air moving in here and you can already see how that's impacting that temperature change right now about 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday in Green Bay. 51 light winds out of the west 2 to 5 tomorrow will get up to 75. Winds coming in out of the southeast at 5 miles per hour. 70 forecast, 77 on Wednesday. A few isolated rain showers, 81 on Thursday. 86 Friday, it's like I'm just going up a staircase, Nina. Each day just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. Exactly what it looks like, and we're going to be in the 90s. We're going to readjust to that heat all over again. Gino, thank you.